All right. Evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. All right. Um, so let me log out of this completely. Um, so we're going to talk about using CX design this evening. Um, so so let me go from trying to bring it back up. So let me so open a new project. All right, so the first thing, um, you see it's designer. That it allows you to build a number of, of screens. Just like when you go to the bank and they bring up different screens for different um, types of project. You know, you, you, you press the, the screen to go to the, 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 the value that, to the screen that you want. All right, so the CX designer helps you to design those kind of things. And it also helps you to, what is on the screen is going to be the push buttons and all those type of things that you would, you would need. Now, um, if you want a touch screen, then you'd use the same CX designer, but the CX designer would be um, configured towards the touch screen. All right, so you bring up a screen, this is screen zero. If we were going to build some other screens, it would be screen one, two, three, four, and five. All right. So, so we have this screen. Let me just see if I can write. Okay. Okay, um, so if you look over on this side here, you see a lot of, um, so this is my screen that I'm going to use to connect whether I want a switch or I want a valve, or not a valve, or, um, meter, whatever it is that I want to connect to my program, then all of that is located over here. So you have, this here is a push button switch. Um, these are just forced to, to put different words in and you have a thumb wheel and all of those various things. Graphs, things that we draw graphs to show whatever it is. But all of the, the various things are over and this side of the, on the left hand side of the screen. So, um, I want to build a touch screen. So, question background is it affecting? Oh, sir. Okay. I have some noise in the background. I don't know if it is a. All right. So, um, let me just get a. 
Dame un menor. Sí, ex programa. All right, a simple program. We're going to do a very basic program. And then we're going to see how we link the screen to it. So we're going to have a start switch. We're going to get a stop switch. Um, So we're going to basic, very basic circuit to just illustrate the point. So this is the program that we wish to connect to. This is going to create a problem. But there's something else that is messing up this thing here. We shouldn't really have the time to fix. Yeah. You can trick it. Yes, I think we're going to Um, for my question, I'm going to just start with that. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, so, so this is the program. It's our start switch, it has a stop switch, and then it has a time, timer that this switch zero to um, is going to turn on. I didn't put any time in there. Oh, D is zero, sorry. So no, I would like to design an interface to connect, a computer interface that I can use to connect with this program. <coughs> All right, 
So let me go back to the CX designer. All right. Yes. Sorry there, we're just starting on something here. All right, so back where we were. So no, um, we want to design an interface using the CX design. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is pull out what is called a label. Now, the label is just at the top of every screen, then we're going to describe what the screen is for. So if um, when you double click on the label, you are going to write whatever. So I go to label and I write whatever it says. So let me say this is a test screen. Um, apply an OK just to show what this. All right, so that is what it will come out as. This is a test screen. So of course, we can pick the color that we want and all of those aesthetics. Um, I'm lousy at those things, so don't expect that my own way to look um, in any way that look, look nice. Um, I wanted to center the message. Can I remember where I would go? Label, background, color. Um, probably want a three-dimensional frame, draw a border, um, size and position. So, um, if you want it bigger, just for argument's sake, apply, okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, I was trying to find where you go to get the label in the center apart from just moving it across. There's some, there's a thing for centering it, but I guess, can't find, oops, can't find it right now. Um, I think it's size and position that we'd have to look at. All right, so so this would be our initial label. The next thing that we'd want is that we'd want uh, the switches. So we'd pull out a switch. So one is for on. One is for off. So let's configure. All right, so the part that I want to talk about, oh, all right. Let me deal with the part that I want to talk about first of all. You see, I don't know if the, the mouse is showing on the screen. Is is the mouse- Yes, sir, the mouse is showing. Okay. All right, you see this part up here that says serial A00, that, that, is, the, that is the part that I want. Me, the technical person, the result is aesthetics for the most part. 
So I have a start switch. So let me let me come out of this and go, go to label first of all. So we're going to label it and say that this is the start switch that we are talking about. Um, we'll do everything and then I put apply and okay, but I'm just putting the apply and okay so that you will see that this is you see this the thing come up that says start. All right, so the start switch that we're dealing with. And the start switch, its address is 000. .00. So we would set this. The area is the common input output area, zero and the bit zero. So that is, that, that is okay. And we could we could also have set it from inside here. We could type type in the number from inside here, 000. zero, zero. All right. So what we are saying is that that when we press apply and okay, then that is the address that that's the size which is connected to. All right. So color and shape. Well, if we apply and uh, okay, there it's supposed to be the wrong color, wrong shape. Where uh, oh, the on shape, off shape. So when it is off, it is as the color that you see over here. When it is on, it's going to be this color. I don't want that color, no, and that shape. I want it to be off and be red and on and be. So um, the star switch, it's supposed to be red. And when I, um, when I turn it on, it's supposed to be. Um, green, so off shape, let me deal with off shape first, red. I will see my library coming up to tell me. So this thing is. I think, you need, I think you need to press the plus symbol itself, sir, and not just the word. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then I want the off shape. Half shape to be um what do I want now? Sir, I thought you said you wanted the off to be red and the on to be green. All right. Let me. All right. So what would happen is that well, you're not ready to see it. I don't remember which one it was. So right now it's green. When I push it, I click on it. When the program is run, it's supposed to turn to red. But that's not what I said initially. I wanted it to be red now. So let's go back. When you changed it a while ago, sir, it, it had a set back the off as um as green. I don't know why. Because right now the off shape is um is green, is dark, it's just a darker green. Right, and it should be red. Mm -hmm. So right now what you're editing is the on. Mm -hmm. But that's what you want, sir. Don't you want to edit the off? I want the, it to be where it's although this don't really matter too much, you know. I want the off the mm -hmm. on shape to be red. Sure. Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay. Sure. You can try um, um Touching the the off shape. No, when you all right. Color 
Oh shit. So there's a um oh, yeah, there's um above, okay, right beside select selected type, you have on ship and off ship. I think uh, that's what you need to change. You have right now you have on ship selected. Nope. No sir. Go back go back on the on what you are on. There's on Sir, go back on the menu, the menu that you just selected. There is a oh, dot, okay. yes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, horrible colors, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should, I... I don't know, I, I, say, I guess it seems as though if it seems as though you cannot have different colors for no, uh, it, but you can just, to, it, we're supposed to have when i click it it's going to turn a different color so one color when i'm seeing as if what all the other is doing is just making it a either it's darker or brighter no i'm not supposed to do that but anyway mm -hmm. see there now okay all right um moving along we start out that at a later time because what I want is that the on shape to be red, and when I click it, click on it, it turns green. What okay, oh, sir, 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 I found it. You have pair um enabled. Go back on it, go back on the menu below. Um, look at the bottom, you have pair. You go individual now, okay, yeah. Keep the now, sir. Wait, oh, this thing goes on and off. Oh, sorry, I should have made sure that I selected the right one from up here as well. Goes on and off according to the on off right address. Um, so we, we should have selected the right one here. All right, but let, let me. Oh, okay, this is what I wanted actually. Sorry, mm -hmm. off color is green, is red. On color is green. I just want this something simple like that. And then we can, can, all right. So this now is a stop switch. So I'm going to label it stop. And. But let me to change the, um, the general to the type that you want, sir. Okay. So the on color is going to be the opposite now. So this one here is going to be green. And this one is going to be red. All right. So what is going to happen when I link it to the program and I press the start switch, it's going to go green. And when I press the stop switch, it's going to turn red. All right. Uh, I'd forgotten to go to the original thing with the, with the shape that I wanted. All right. Um, so that would be my two inputs. I'm also going to get an output. So one of the outputs that I can choose is a bit long. Um, I don't know. This evening, not my evening. Okay. 
right? So I'm going to get a, a lamp that I'm going to use for when the motor is on. So I'm going to go through, label it, motor. Um, yeah, just playing for the time being. Um, off color for the motor is red, on color is green. Um, so we label it motor. Um, three dimensional frame. Um, aesthetics again. Leave that alone. So we label it motor. And the important part that I am interested in is the um, the address. Address. So we go and we set the address. Now same command input output here, but remember now this was one zero zero dot zero zero. So I'm going to put one zero zero, and it, it only allows one zero inside there. So that is 100.0. So let me press OK and see if it is as see it as says 100.0.0. So that is, I apply that. OK. So that is my motor light. All right. Now, I also had in the program a timer and it had a data memory. So how do I address the timer? Well, um, I need two things. I need a numerical display. And I need uh, an input. So let me choose the Tom wheel switch. What's the wrong thing? Okay, so let me deal with the thumb wheel switch first. Okay, now we have a few more things that you have to deal with with the, with the switch. So let me deal with the most important thing. So the thumb wheel switch is a Thing that I put that I can connect to my D0. And when I connect it to my D0, then I can change the value by pressing on the plus or the minus and changing the value of the, the, the thumb wheel. All right, change my mind. Let me deal with the first thing. Now, this is as in five integers and two decimal places. So if I can say I don't need so much. Three integer, and let's say it's a two decimal place for for argument's sake, initially. So if you look at it now, you see that it has, um, I can set the value 999.99 or whatever value I want to put inside there, I can put inside there. So I can set my my um, decimal. And it, oh, I should point out that there's a sign on it. So I don't want a sign on it, unsigned integer. So if I just do that, then you'll notice that there's no sign, the sign part portion has disappeared. I don't want any decimals. Um, okay. All right, now the important part. The, it's a data memory, so I have to change to data memory, and it is zero. So therefore, I press OK. So you see that it says data memory zero. And it is unsigned integer, decimal value, data memory. So apply, OK. So you see what is here. The three-digit number, 
and um, I can fill in the number by clicking on the plus or the minus and changing the, the number. It can only change when the program is running. So right now it's just 999, you see. But when the program is running, you see what I mean when I say that I can change it from the screen. So the other aesthetics, um, the background, the color, I can pick a different color. Um, I'll leave it as is. Right see if I, I've never tried another color. Okay. Which is why I never tried another color. All of them look. Um, is there anything else that I want to talk about with them? All right. So those are the important things. You have to say whether it's a decimal, unsigned integer, um, and the most important part is, is to sort out the address. Apply, uh, okay. All right, so this next one here is a display. Now, the first one that we, we, we just dealt with over here, is an input. This one displays what is in the memory. So it's a display, we are going to connect it so it displays what is in the memory. But the same things again, so three integers, um, unsigned integer, um, and then we're going to set the memory, data memory zero, so it displays what is in data memory. Zero, apply, and OK. So now, all right, so this is my start switch, my stop switch. I need to indicate whether the motor is on or off, and I need to be able to address the, the memory. So the next thing that I would need to be able to do is connect this to the program that I wrote. Um, So we go to tools, we go to test, yep, yes to all, yes. And now it's going to link to the program. Now we, do, we can connect it to the PLC, so we're going to just simulate it presently. If we had a connection to the PLC, if we weren't online, we could connect to the, to the PLC. And then we press start. So it's tools, test, connect to the PLC, and then we wait for it to link. Now, uh, just to make a point here, that this is now the screen that is connected to the program. Now, notice that this, you see any two different screens? Two different screens? No, I'm just, we're still okay. seeing the um, black background and the um, display that, that you made before. That's the only thing we're seeing. Right, it's supposed to be seeing two. Um, Right, do I resume share? All right. Um, I'm moving around the two screens. I don't know if you've seen the two, two that there are two screens. Looking exactly at the twins. But when I'm moving, or when I'm not moving. It's not, it's not showing it. Um, All sir, right, you, could, you, could, um, you could try to, you could, um, Make Zoom share the monitor screen itself instead of showing just the application. Okay. Um, you're you're seeing what screen are you seeing now? You seeing one with two zeros on it? Yes, sir. We're seeing the screen with two zeros on it. Okay. So that that is the screen that we would use to run the program. 
the other screen is the screen that we built. So let me just follow your advice and share the desktop. See if that will. Yes, so we can see both screens now. All right, so this, I, maybe because I'm old people, but um, whenever I, we have the two screens, I normally make the mistake. I usually make the mistake of saying, how come this is not working? But this is not the screen that we, this is the, the screen that we, we use to run the program. So let me try to bring up the program and um, get <clears throat> no, me not keeping Saturday. Got up. Yeah, Minister of Health said, me not keeping. Minister of Health didn't say anything. Minister of Health said, if we don't say anything, not trap me, keep it. <coughs> so, so that's why the coach did the same one to have uh, some rum cream, because he's most upset. No, I'm sorry about that, gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> that was on our side. All right, so let's, let's see if, if this thing works as we said. So if I press start, okay. you see that it, uh, oh, shoot. Here's what I didn't do. I didn't put anything to connect to the timer for you to see what is going on with the timer. All right. But if I press stop, well, it should have. Wait a little bit. Did we cut it? But you seeing that this and this connected. All right. So we're going to go back to the drawing board and fix something because you notice when I press stop, it's zero zero that comes on. Yes, sir. It's similar to if you forgot to change the address for the second. Um, for the second one. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. And I also needed to put in a, a switch for zero two. All right. Um. So let me just do something here. So if you notice now, when I change change the the input to one, you see the output changes to one, because that is the number in memory. And you see the over here in the program it, it also changes. It's not all numbers, it it it, it will change to because let me make a point here now. I'm going to continue and I'm going to press 18. Now, I have 18 as my input, 18 as my output, but when I look over on the timer, I see 12. So what is going on there? Well, what is going on there is that the timer is... Is um, hexadecimal, displaying hexadecimal figures. Okay, it's displaying he the, the figure as a hexadecimal number. So I would have to go into data memory and make sure that the, the, the timer reads because remember remember we said that the default setting for the for, for the data memory is um hexadecimal right so i would have to remember when we we're when we we're writing programs before the value in the hexadecimal we will put number sign which would indicate to the program that is a decimal number but if i am addressing d0 the default setting for D0 is hexadecimal. So I would have to go into the memory and change it to decimal for it to read 18 in, instead of 12. Either that or if you if it's an operation where you you are able to make the conversion and it, it is it isn't important, then you do so. Or you can in the program, change it to 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 um um hexadecimal, so that the two things will be lined up. But we didn't go into the memory of the program 
and change it to hexadecimal. All right, so let me come out of this and fix. All right, so I've got, you see in back the screen? Yes, sir. All right, so let me come out and fix it. So we have to set this, I set it to one. Okay, see there's one, apply. Okay. Just that alone, we're going to check and see. If. So test. So we're going to just make a check and see again. Okay. Okay. So, so now our start and stop are in sync with the and when you stop it, the motor is supposed to go back red. And uh, I indicated that I wanted the start and the stop to change, but it's only the start that has changed. So I would have to go in there and, and, and change that. Sir, may I ask a question that um that second switch that you have in the program itself that's named motor, which switch, what would that re represent? This is not a switch. The, no, no, the, program, the program itself, not the display, the program itself. You that's have, it? yeah, that, that switch um, named motor, yes. This down here? Yes, sir. This is a latch. So what is happening is that when you, when you have a start and stop, situation like we have we have the start and then the zero one is the stop the problem with a start stop switch like that is that if i didn't have the latch when the current reaches well, all right let me just say what the, what the function of the latch is when the current reaches the motor it's going to turn on this motor here that is that that we have as a switch Okay. Because it's the same address. So mm -hmm. if you notice that the current, the green line, it stops at zero, zero. But it, it is continuous for one, zero, zero. It is, it, I don't know if you see the mouse. Yes, yes, I'm seeing the mouse, sir. All right. So the, the, the current is running along here. So the only way to stop that is to press stop. So when it, when it is stopped, then no, it turns off. So this 100, which has the same address as the motor, is called a latch. Okay. So when you press this, you don't momentarily press the switch, it turns on 100 and it stays on. If you didn't have this, then when I press, it would have, you'd have to have a, a toggle switch that when you, it stays in the on position. Okay. All right. You understand Understood. what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. The zero that. zero would have to stay on permanently for you to. But when you have a push button switch, if you press that, it starts. And when I lift my finger off the push button, you see it goes back to its off state. But the, the 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 motor is still on. All right, fair enough. All right, so what? So so let. We just indicate again. You press start, and as long as I have my hand down on the switch, then it is on. But if I take my hand off the switch, it goes off, and then it has to. But I would want the, the motor to stay on. So this configuration where I have the switch or the motor as the the on switch, because these two are on switch and the zero one is an off switch, is called a latch. Understood. All right. So, um, so, 
So these are these are the some basic things that that we just wanted to to bear in mind. That all right, any switch or meter or thing like that has to be connected to the the memory or the address of the the, the location that you want. That's the most important thing. And the other other things are kind of intuitive with with the program. All right. So so that is that is in briefest introduction the 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 what we want for, for you to write as your your what we need for you to, to, to deal with. Only thing, like I said, you'd have to go into the memory and change the memory for the CX programmer to decimal, because the default setting is hexadecimal, so that what is input and what is displayed is, is going to be the, the, the same. All right, the, another point here. Note something, 110, is it error? It has to conform to some um, hexadecimal value um, without leaving a, a remainder. If, if you understand what I'm getting at, it's not all the numbers that you put in here that will be responded to by the timer. It has to be has to be an exact conversion. Okay, so just bear that that in mind. Um, so with that, um, I've been delinquent. So now this week I can give you the two projects that that I need you to to work on. And um, so so now it's just for you. Um, like I said, we want to do one practical test, one test that I would turn into multiple choice and um, the two projects. So I'm just going to give you all the assignments and then we continue working on them from henceforth. So from now on, I'll be a consultant. All right. Um, It's not next Tuesday we're going to UTEC, it's the other Tuesday. They're going to ask you to come to UTEC. So, um, mm -hmm. remember the book, sir. The book, yeah. The book. And you know, some experience, so I'm going to put it in the group. Because I went through and edited and everything. Like I said, you have to forgive all people that say, man, let me do it. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't know you're not on the phone, man. I probably have to say, you're good at, you know? Can I get a new phone? Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll just get one. But, um, yeah, let me do it now. All right, so, I'm going to put up the assignment now. Put up the phone now. I saw total of those things. No. All right. And then, so I said, it's not next week, Tuesday, we said that you're coming. It's the other week, Tuesday, right? Yeah, Tuesday, right? Yes, sir. Um, All right. I, regarding the what you went through with us in class today, we will be required mm -hmm. to do that test for our um, assignment as well. The design. So the second, remember, I was going to give you two two things to, to design. So this is for the second one. So I'm just going to give everybody, give you everything now. Oh. And then um, give you the two assignments now. And then I realized. In the, yeah. I realized in the design section there was no like wire connection between the. Um, the components. I'm wondering if it's a case whereby it's not necessary. There's no wire connection between the components. No, there's not. The, okay. If I understand your question, 
Right. Yes, sir. All right. Um, so let me let me let me get to sending you the the um the the, the book and the the other things. That you would you would need, so we can we can um, we can start working on the the assignments that you would need to handle. All right, so let me put that up now. So I went to come out of the group, the end the class, and then I'm going to put the put the assign the two assignments on WhatsApp. All right, and then you can text me in the group if there's anything that needs to be discussed. Not that I won't be online, coming back online, but um, if there's anything that you need to discuss, let me put the group, the book, and the two and the two assignments. All right, sir. So you're saying. For the mm -hmm. confirmation, for confirmation, you're saying that the Tuesday that we're coming in, that's going to be the lab test, right? No, no. We're going to give you is four Tuesdays, and at the end of the and the fourth one is the lab test. But it's not that. Okay, it's every, just a regular practical session then. Yeah, just a regular practical session to get you used to wiring up the circuit and and all those type of things. Okay. And at the end. We figure say you need three sessions to learn to wire up the thing properly. And at the end of that, we're going to actually write a program um, and wire it up, wire up the circuit. All right? We um, figure that that is the best way around, around the whole entire thing. Um, I don't know if anybody would prefer to come on Thursday for the practical session rather than Tuesday, although Thursday five to seven kind of kind of dicey. As not I'm not saying that you shouldn't what I'm saying is that if, if there's a person who prefers to come on Thursday, then if you indicate then we will be at UTEC on the Thursday instead of the Tuesday. If you understand what I'm getting. That instead of as well as this the Tuesday. I don't know if anybody has that particular wish. No? Okay. The time is better on Tuesday you know, because... No, 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 no. It's not... It's not... Or... Oh, um, oh, oh. Can't do the I'm saying again. that... No, I'm saying anybody who might prefer to come on Thursday instead of Tuesday, then we will make ourselves available. On the Thursday instead of the Tuesday, but we didn't need that indication mm -hmm. so that because we have to travel too to go up to UTEC and open up the lab and so forth. So it would make sense to go up there and open up lab and all of those things. And sure. mm -hmm. or, the, or the textbook that you'll be sending, does it mm -hmm. have practice exercises that we could attempt and show you? No, I don't see any book with practice. It, it has exercise. It has exercise, but they work it out already. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't have exercises for you, so that is what the lab component is for. Because we're going to ask you to um, write a write a program. And then wire it up and see if it works. We're going to first, uh, for example, the first one is that we're going to have a push button switch that you push three times and then turn on the fan and then turn on the light afterwards and you have to stop it by pressing another push button two times and so forth and so on. So those are the, the lab exercises will be the practice programming exercises. Okay. Yes, yes, yeah. So, like I said, the fourth one, the fourth lab exercise is the lab test. But um, 
in this particular situation, it's not anything that we are, we are saying that we are going to be breeding now in next. If, if let us say that you had a miserable day at the lab test and you get zero out of zero for everything, that, that is the mark that we are going to be working with. So they come back next week and You understand? So, it's not anything for, for you to be anxious about. It's just something where we need you to, to, we need to say that they're competent enough to wire up a circuit or understand a circuit wiring. And we, we just need to um, ensure that everybody in the class competent at wiring up the circuit. That's all. Yes, sir. Don't it? All right. All right. So, let me go get the book. And then, but one final thing, sir. Mm. You were saying that uh, we could, if we're having trouble with the code in terms of writing the code, mm. we could mm. ask you. Right? Ask, uh, the part that disappeared. Uh, could ask me? Ask you for clarification. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Okay. Our Delaptic is a pretty good code as well. Um, more neat and fine than me. So who's the lab tech? Um, Mr. Uh, Rich man name. Chinese man. Lin. Matthew. Lin. Matthew Lin. All right. Um, me more rustic than 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 him. He, him. he is a precise scientist. Mm. All right. All right. So let me go. Mr. Uh, Lin. Huh? That's Mr. Lin. Yes, Mr. Lin. Okay. Much Lin. All right. All right. So let me go and um put you on. Put on it in present. 